So what's good YouTube, it's your boy Big Ray Smooth and I'm back with another video. So we just discovered some GTA 6 news from a Mr. Boss FTW. GTA 6 is officially in uh, final stages of development. Pre-orders, trailer 2, and more coming soon. I'm really, really excited of what he's about to talk about right here because we need this news, man. Cause and, and, and the second trailer because the first one was lit, like right off the bat, you know, like Rockstar Games blew the internet with so many numbers. I'm talking about like, like a hundred million views and some shit. Like the video itself is almost at like 200 million views. Like that is like, bro, like that's just impossible to even like look at that. It's really just a blessing just to see uh, news from Rockstar Games about this game right here. When this game come out, bro, I will do a let's play from start to finish with the whole game like i'm gonna do the whole uh, let's play gameplay bro for y'all boys because i know y'all want to see this i do too like i will not let y'all down man because i will let y'all know and when i will start and when i see me upload this shit, bro y'all gonna see you know what i'm saying because y'all gonna see bro y'all will see the full entire let's play of the whole entire game so y'all will not get so bored all right because we are ready all right we just ready to see you know, GTA 6 come out next year. 2025 is going to be like the most like interesting year of my life because it's so much is about to go down next year. 2024 just started, so it's like we got months and months and months to go before this comes out. Like, share, subscribe if you're new to the channel only, and please turn on those post notifications if you guys want to see me more. Want to upload more and more and more on this channel, bro. You know what I'm saying because that will help me a lot on this channel. Go drop a like and go comment below man again and go subscribe and without further ado let's get into the video it's just got some huge official news it looks like rockstar games is in the final stretch of development which could mean things are ramping up for more details to be revealed and possibly even the game avoiding a delay we'll be talking about all of that in this video today and a whole lot more so this is coming from jason schreer over at bloomberg i will leave a link to the article in the description if you're unfamiliar with jason's work he has had reputable Rockstar Games info in the past particularly on Grand Theft Auto 6 and the details before we knew anything about the title like that it was going to be returning to Vice City featuring a female main protagonist and a whole lot more long story short Jason is 100% Credible. And this was the title of his article. Grand Theft Auto maker Rockstar Games asks workers to return to office five days a week. Oh, Going okay. on to say, Rockstar Games, a division of Take-Two Interactive Software, Inc., will ask employees to return to the office five days a week beginning in April as the video game maker enters the final stages of development on its next game, the hotly anticipated Grand Theft Auto 6. So I'm gonna do my best here in this video to focus on Grand Theft Auto 6, the development and what that means. I don't feel like I'm in the position to have a proper opinion on the pros and cons of working from home versus returning to the office as I've never worked in an office. I've been in the very fortunate position of doing YouTube for almost like 12 or 13 years now since I was a teenager. And so because of that, I don't wanna inject my opinion Opinions on something that I don't feel like I really am allowed to have an opinion on because I've never done it that way so I will leave it up to you guys in those comments down below on everything we discuss in this video today but let's continue on with the article in an email to staff on Wednesday reviewed by Bloomberg Rockstar head of publishing Jen Colby Wait, so one thing, bro, they want to have all these employees return to the office for five days a week, bro, for five days a week. So this guy really wants this game to be the best. In order to let this game be the best, I want you guys in the office for like five days a week, every week, all right? Because I want this game to be good, all right? I know you don't want to be here, but we got to make this happen, you know? You know, because like, I like that energy, you know what I'm saying? I like the energy from the guy, you know? I love it a lot. I just love it, man. B said the decision was made hey. for productivity and security reasons. The company has faced several security breaches, including a massive dump of early footage of the new Grand Theft Auto and an early trailer that leaked in December. So you can understand the security reasons part of this. I feel like Grand Theft Auto 6 has suffered a massive amount of leaks, whether it be the Grand Theft Yeah. Yeah, man, them leaks really do. It really is a clue because people are really trying to find out what's next, you know? And this is why people drop 
elites and stuff like that. You know, that's like part of the clues that we've saw already, you know, because like, this is not the first time it happened. Like, this is not the first time, you know. I mean, I, I don't know, man, because I, I don't know, bro. Somebody probably got um the trailer, too. I mean, like somebody probably might have it, but. Daughter no, Six trailer I, I mean, releasing early now. I don't know if that has anything to do with work from home or like a rogue YouTube employee, but I do know that the early footage that was revealed back in September 2022, the hacker was able to get access to that because of a program that Rockstar wow. Games employees used Crazy. that allowed them to more easily work from home where they could transfer files and communicate back and forth from their computers at the office. And if they are entering the final stages of development, you can best be assured that Rockstar Games doesn't want any more leaks to happen on Grand Theft Auto 6. And as far as a productivity standpoint of things, if they are truly in the final stages of development, you can only anticipate that they are really gonna start ramping things up in terms of trying to get out this game and could possibly lead to not having a delay, which would be awesome. Now, the article goes on to say, Colby wrote that the company also found, quote, tangible benefits from in-person work, saying making these changes now puts us in the best position to deliver the next Grand Theft Auto at the level of quality and polish we know it requires, along with the publishing roadmap that matches the scale and ambition of the game. So obviously, I do not work at Rockstar Games, so I can't tell you about what tangible benefits that might be for working in an... I mean, hey, hey, man, you're right, because like, we don't know anything yet. You know, I don't want to just quote anything of what you're talking about because, like, Rockstar Games is the head leader because, like, I really can't, like, say anything what's true, what's not true. Like, I really can't say anything because we don't know anything. That's just, just articles and stuff like that they have on the Internet, but, you know. In-person office at Rockstar, but according to Rockstar, it puts them in the best position to deliver the next Grand Theft Auto at the level of quality and polish it requires, along with a publishing roadmap that will match the scale and ambition of the game. So essentially, what we're getting at here is Rockstar Games is seeking perfection all the way around, not only with the game itself, but how things are going to work really in the next year or so as we lead up to 2025, the release year of the game. And I feel like that is something that has been echoed from the top and their parent company, Take-Two Interactive. We've heard from executives like CEO Strauss Zelnick that has said that Rockstar is seeking perfection with Grand Theft Auto 6. They basically have to because all the titles they've created have been absolute you know, blockbuster hits. And so because of that, in order to guarantee that perfection, it looks like they're making all of their employees return to the office. Now, the article goes on to say, return to office mandates have been a hot topic across various industries since the pandemic forced myriad employees to work from home. And more recently, many employees have asked staff to return to the office for two or three days a week. And a study last month found that remote work did not have an impact on productivity. If you guys are interested in that. Man, wow, bro. For, for like two or three days a week, bro, just to go in office because of the pandemic. I mean, I know why. Like staying in the house and not doing like, like a thing in the house or like anything outside like it's crazy all you can do is like stay in the house the people that are rockstar really hired like they really have these niggas come in for like three days a week bro because of the whole um uh, pandemic thing this could really happen because everybody is back you know what i'm saying like everybody is working so we just can't like waste like any more time with the delays and stuff like that so that's also on the website Bloomberg. I'll leave a link to it in the description. The title is Remote Work Doesn't Seem to Affect Productivity, Fed Study Finds. And the last thing the article goes on to say, the issue has been particularly controversial among video game workers thanks to the volatility of the industry and its lack of a centralized workforce. Many of 2023's biggest video game hits, such as Marvel's Spider-Man 2 from Insomniac Games. Oh yeah, bro, that game? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, bro, I think I watched like a little bit of a uh, walkthrough through the game, bro. Oh my god, bro, man, Spider-Man Two was the shit. I ain't gonna lie, that game was the fuck shit. Like, oh my god, it took my cousin like two days just to beat the game. Like, and that's how locked in he was. I really blame myself for not like buying the game, but like I was really just, you know, getting shit together and all that stuff like that. So I already had a chance to, you know, stream it for you guys or play it like on the channel for you. So, 
Yeah, man. But yeah, bro, that game had hits. I'm not gonna lie, that game were developed hits. remotely. So let's focus on what I believe to be the positive here. It doesn't look like Rockstar has come across any speed bumps or blockades in the development of Grand Theft Auto 6. In fact, it seems to be going so well, they've now calling it entering the final stages of development. That is huge. And this is good news for two reasons. Number one, possibly this means Grand Theft Auto 6 could avoid a delay. That is something that has pretty much plagued every Rockstar Games title going back to Grand Theft Auto 4. But also number two, this could indicate that Rockstar is ready to really begin the marketing phase for GTA 6. Yes, we have the official trailer, we have things like the official description, artwork, and logo, but we don't know anything really else about the game other I mean, than what we don't. we're able to we divulge from the leaks and the official trailer. But maybe this means Rockstar soon will be willing to give us more trailers, screenshots, information, previews about the game to get us ramped up for Grand it's like honestly though like like it's gonna be mostly like screenshots everybody got leaks and stuff so there's no point of like a drop in videos on that it, it's no point theft daughter 6's release and in order to do that rockstar feels it's best to have all of their employees in the office five days a week monday through friday and that is certainly going to be the most controversial part of this entire thing because rockstar as a company have always kind of been shrouded with a little bit of controversy in terms of how hard the employees have to work to make these amazing games the long hours they have to work to sort of seek that perfection and oh my fault y'all it could be somebody that's working for rockstar you know like far as like a third party company or something like that i mean possibly you know my fault if i i'm mistaken that Really, last but not least, on Jason Trier's social media platform, he actually tweeted out or X'd out the article. I don't even know what you're supposed to call it these days. Saying, new Rockstar Games is asking all of its employees to return to the office five days a week starting in April for security and productivity reasons as they enter the final stretch of development on Grand Theft Auto 6. And then, in quotes, saying employees are not thrilled. And that's actually something we're going to be talking about in a video a little bit later on today. And Jason Trier kind of followed up to some of the comments. Someone said, just because some have embraced doesn't mean they all need to, right? And he said, depends if they want to keep up morale and retain talent. And in case you guys are slightly confused, he's not talking about the normal Monday through Friday work week. Everyone is still doing that. It's a matter of full return to office mandate during an era when many other companies have embraced remote or hybrid work. That's what he's talking about there. Not the fact that employees are having to work Monday through Friday. Everyone still gets Saturday and Sunday off, at least relatively speaking. So I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below on everything we discussed in this video today. The good news of Grand Theft Auto 6 seemingly entering its final stage of development, but at what cost for Rockstar and its employees? Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. If you want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But, of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. The main important part about this video was like the office mandate because people got to come back and work. As far as like the employees for Rockstar and stuff like that, five days a week, like Monday through Friday, like that is crazy as hell. Like, oh my God, bro. Because they really want that game to be great, polished. You know what I'm saying? Like no delays, no nothing. Because we got to work on this now. Like that's the energy I was getting inside this video from Rockstar. Everything that they're about to do, I know it's about to be so crazy, man. You know, just leave a comment down below, man, what you think about the news about the game and all that stuff like that. You know, just uh, leave a comment below, man, of what you guys really think. You know, that really will uh, help me a lot on this video itself. So, yeah, man, just go subscribe and go leave a like and go comment down below once again. And, yeah, you know, go follow all my social medias. Uh, it'll be right on the screen right here or right down below in the main description. My PSN will be down below with the rest of my links down below. It's big, very smooth, and I'm out, y'all. I love her so much. Gang!